Good morning to one and all. Today, Ibinish Khan of 8th P of Balbhavan Public School has made a 3D model of a bar graph with the guidance of my mentor, Miss Seep Siti Arora Ma'am. My sub theme was maths in daily life. What is bar graph and for what it is used? Bar graphs are the pictorial representation of the data generally grouped in the form of vertical and or horizontal rectangular bars where the length of the bars are proportional to the measures of the data. They are also known as bar charts. Bar graph summarizes the large data of the data in a simple visual form. It displays each category of data in the frequency distribution. It clarifies the trend of the data better than the table. It helps in estimating the key values at a glance. Good morning to respected judges, principal sir, headmistress ma'am, senior wing coordinators, coordinators, all teacher, my mentor Seep Siti Aruna ma'am. Today I, Pinish Khan of class 8P of Balbhavan Public School is going to present a 3D model of bar graph on the topic of career in different fields under the guidance of a lovely Seep Arora ma'am. As I have early told you in my PPT, what's a bar graph and its uses, so I will move on to my model. So here's my model of 3D bar graph. So these are the bars you can see. These are the these horizontal lines are the graph. These have the proper gap or the uh, mentioned gap of one centimeter only. The bar graph is made up of one centimeter by one centimeter squares only. It can't be two centimeter neverly. Okay. So now here you can see one horizontal line and one vertical line properly here, here you can see y axis and here you can see x axis written <coughs> sorry so this y axis is known as uh, sorry this vertical line is known as y axis and this horizontal line is known as x axis so the, on this y axis we plot the frequency and then this x axis we plot the bars and uh, what type of bar they are like which uh, which data they are representing for example this bar is representing ias this is representing pcs ca and so on and so on so now here you can see one centimeter so here you can see a uh, numbers written 10 0 10 20 30 and so on so this line is exactly to the what the black i have drawn on the with the black sketch pen here zero then it's according to the 10 so this is known as one unit as it's of one centimeter so one unit only so it is it is very important to mention above that how much your unit is equals to like it could be 100 it could be 100 tons it could be 100 students it could be 100 kilos so you have to it's important to mention here what type uh what it is representing so one unit represents 10 students so my data is like uh students who qualify from a uh, for example there are 100 students in the 12 block right so after qualifying uh, the uh, qualifying from our school they move to uh, ahead in their lives and do jobs and also in which career do they choose mostly i have a random data here like in which fields they get success so in is there are 10 pcs 5 ca 10 and bs 25 uh, scientist 20 and engineer 30 as following so now we will plot it so as it is 10 uh, IAS so 10 then it's 5 so from between to 0 to 10 there the 5 uh, exists so I will do it So I'm done with this. So this bar graph looks like this after you have done. Uh, sorry, the yellow bar is little bit loose. So this bar graph looks like this. As and now you, here you can see number of students 
and here you can see uh, carriers in different views so that's all thank you for listening me so patiently i'm finished and thank you thank you for watching my video